Hey there, welcome to our video. Today, we're going to dive into the world of tax credits and how you can acquire them. We'll also explore what you can do with these tax credits. So, let's get started. What are tax credits? How do you acquire them? What can be done with them? We will first do a Google search for IRS Tax Topic 453. You will find it explain the following information, if someone owes you money that you can't collect, you have a bad debt. If you wish to deduct a bad debt, and you see accurate method of accounting, you can take a bad debt deduction for unpaid salaries, wages, rents, fees, interests, dividends, and similar items of taxable income. If you lend money to a relative or friend with the understanding you expected them to pay it back then you can write it off and take a bad debt deduction on your taxes. If you have a tax agent and he insists on using the cash method of accounting, get yourself a different tax agent. Businesses use the accrual method, and since this is directly related to your business, personal or private or otherwise, you have the right to choose your accounting method. Business bad debts, a business that, that can be either partially worthless, meaning you cannot collect on a part of the debt or wholly worthless meaning that you cannot collect any of the debt. A debt is closely related to your trade or business if the debt is business related. You can deduct it on Schedule C, Form 1040, Profit or Loss from Business, Sole Proprietorship, Personal and or Private Business Ceilings, or on your applicable business income tax return. The following are examples of business by debts, loans to clients, suppliers, distributors, and employees. Credit sales to customers. Loaning money expecting to be paid back constitute a business bad debt when associated with any type of business arrangement, personal business, private business, official business, banking business, the IRS code does not identify limitations on what constitutes business. Business bad debts are more valuable than non-business bad debts. If you loaned out money to a friend or a relative, and you had an agreement with them that they were to pay you back, then that is called personal business. Here is how the law for the IRC explained what a business is, the internal revenue business bad debts are more valuable than non-business bad debts. If you loaned out money to a friend or a relative, and you had an agreement with them that they were to pay you back, then that is called personal business. Here is how the law for the IRC explained what a business is, the internal revenue code. IRC, doesn't provide a single, clear-cut definition of what constitutes a business for tax purposes. Section 162, this section allows deductions for all the ordinary and necessary expenses paid or incurred during the tax of year and carrying on any trade or business. While not explicitly defining business, it implies an activity engaged in with continuity and regularity for profit or income generation. Other sections, throughout the code, Specific provisions refer to trades or businesses in various contexts, further shaping the understanding. For example, Section 183D establishes a presumption that an activity with profit in 3 of 5 preceding years is a business. 2. Treasury Regulations The Treasury Department issues regulations that interpret and clarify the code. These regulations often provide additional details on what constitutes a trade or business, considering factors like continuity and regularity of activity, profit motive, intent to engage in the activity for income, and dependence on the activity for livelihood. 3. 3. Case Law Courts have also weighed in on the definition of trade or business through various cases. These decisions offer further guidance and precedent for future interpretations. Therefore, the definition of a trade or business for tax purposes is multifaceted and nuanced. A debt becomes worthless when the surrounding facts and circumstances indicate there's no reasonable expectation that the debt will be repaid. To show that a debt is worthless, you must establish that you've taken reasonable steps to collect the debt. It's not necessary to go to court if you can show that a judgment from the court would be uncollectible. 
You may take the deduction only in the year the debt becomes worthless unless you carry the debt forward or backwards. This is known as a carry back or a carry forward of the credit and is permissible in most cases up to 20 years and 3 years backward. You may deduct business bad debts, in full or in part, from the total income when figuring your taxable income, you simply add up your total amount of expenditures, along with your business bad debt, and you deduct it from your total income and there you have your taxable income, only, if the total taxable income after the adoption is greater than 13,950 US dollars. Remember your taxable income is after deduction not before as the deduction already occurred prior to the end of the year calculation, which is why businesses use the accrual method of accounting, so when they do their taxes, the deduction has already been applied prior to the end of the year, and just needs to be offset. You can use your business credit or your tax credit as collateral for private securities or private bonds when you operate under the March 9, 1933 Act as such is included in what is known as eligible papers. Eligible papers under the March 9, 1933 Act are defined as any notes which by definition includes bond and securities. Here are 5 case citations that support the statement that bonds and securities are sometimes referred to as notes in the legal context. So that you are not confused, please understand, that when Congress wrote the March 9, 1933 Act, they specifically used the phrase any notes. Therefore, when someone like myself suggests that you get to create your own note in the form of bonds and or securities, and then collateralize your bond for your note through collateralization, the above case citations will help you with the understanding that this was the intent of Congress and recognized for over 100 years in the United States. Before diving deeper, I encourage everyone to conduct thorough research on creating and collateralizing private bonds or securities using business credit. The following outline provides a focused roadmap, excluding unnecessary details and adhering to your specific request. And there you have it. We've explored the world of tax credits and business bad debts. Remember, if you're the recipient of business credits and tax credits, you can receive refunds for the taxes you pay during the year by correctly writing off the credits. Lastly, it's important to note that you can use your business credit and tax credit as collateral for private securities and bonds. Under the March 9, 1933 Act, eligible papers, which include notes, bonds, and securities, can be collateralized. This has been recognized by courts and legal definitions. Before delving deeper, we encourage you to conduct thorough research on creating and collateralizing private bonds or securities using business credit. The outlined steps in this video provide a focused roadmap, excluding unnecessary details, and adhering to your specific request. Thank you for watching, and as always, remember, you are appreciated. Tisha